This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest, and myself, Kevin Davis, we are music, <laughs> love, life. And I'm starting to get y'all. <laughs> what, what you got in your and, cup, man? What's yeah, in your that's, cup? that's what's going on. Um, y'all, the pre show, this is it's cause you're sipping on something. That's what it is. I'm sipping on a tall glass of shut the hell up and mind your business. <laughs> okay. I'm sipping on I'll play to you. Okay. I'm blaming, I'm blaming you. On the face. <laughs> you do that all the time. <laughs> Be honest, blames me for everything. No, Shout actually, I'm, I'm drinking alkaline water. You're a liar. I'm telling all those health yes. people out there to watch Kevin Davis. This Negro I'm, is drinking some type of beer. I'm, it's not alkaline water. And I'm sure that beer is not alkaline. I'm, I'm drinking made from wheat. the purest. Barley. Of the, course. The, the purest. <laughs> this is, this, I'm drinking cloud water. He's drinking this is, beer. This was collected. Which smells like pee. Collected in the mountains. That's why I don't like it. It's, it's fresh it all, from it the River like Nile. It like pee to me. Okay. I've always felt like that. And it makes you have a big stomach. Okay. Hater. You know, beer. So what about cheeseburgers? <laughs> <laughs> you like cheeseburgers? <laughs> I don't like cheeseburgers, but I do like some other things that make you... But no, but beer... Tube steak? I like steak. You like tube steak? Mm. No, what is tube steak? <laughs> Dick. What is tube steak? <laughs> it makes, your, it makes your stomach fat. You? Ev- eventually, you it makes your stomach fat. You actually should have let her keep thinking on that. Like, tube steak? <laughs> this is not what? a good... In about six months, happening? your belly gets what fat. What is tube steak? Not from... Never mind. Same thing. No, it doesn't. Same thing. It's heavy. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even know what to say. Guys... <laughs> and you trying to blame this on what's in my cup? Nah, man. You don't. You never heard of tube steak? I've never heard what of. What are that. the names? Give me all the names you got for dick. I don't have any names. No names. Just dick. Schlong. You have no names. Cock. Cock. See, yeah. there we go. It's warm. She warming up. Yeah. How many bodies you got? Not yet. We too too soon. Too soon. Oh my god. Mm, mm, Eventually. Mm. What? <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> I was in a good mood. It's been a good. You not in a good mood? I was before we shitty. started here. We, yeah. we were just talking about well, things, was, but what you, you got? You got a little upset. Was wrong? What? Did you guys know? Did you guys see last night Cardi B on Saturday Night Live? Yeah, I did. Okay, all right, with Chadwick. Right. The Black Panther continues. The Black Panther reign continues. That was a little late, wasn't it? What do you mean? You know what? That's what they said, too. When he came out and did the monologue, it was like, yeah, they got me out, you know, two months after Black <laughs> Panther was released. Well, I see that we're still, we've, we've well crossed well over into the billion dollars and people are still going to see Black Panther. Like, I was the movie theater to see another movie which will remain nameless because I will not support it, but I will not bash it either. You supported it already with your No, pay, no, your she's following the code. I am. Ah. I'm following the code that ah. that Raheem talked about. I knew you had some hood. Yeah, there you I'm following go. the code. I'm not gonna bash another film, but I went to see a film that I do not want to further promote. But people were the the theater was still filled for Black Panther, which was amazing. And the guy was like, "Maybe this film is gonna reach Black Panther." I was like, "Probably not." Which film? I'm not. I'm it's sticking a black to film the code. Movie. I'm sticking to the code. It's I'm a black not film. Do it. There aren't too many black films that come out. So it, okay, well we don't need especially to especially simultaneously. Into, we don't. Well, the you point can't, is, you can't give I'm black people too many to, options. I know, but I, anyway, Chadwick. That's I, how we got Cardi B. How so? Not too many options. Uh, you think so? I don't know. Let's talk about Saturday Night Live because you guys were. I don't want to. I think that, that. Well, okay. So on Saturday Night Live, she she performed. And she unveiled the fact that she indeed is pregnant. And she looks really pregnant, right? Yeah. She so looks- did she reveal that? Or, nigga, we see it. Well, it came no, out she in the showed. Perform- yeah. Remember how Beyonce went on uh, the, it, what was it, the MTV Awards? Mm-hmm. And did the thing during no. her, you never, you never <laughs> no, saw that? No, I don't pay attention to Beyonce. She's not a part of the though. beehive. Okay, yeah. So she did well, like that's a, how it's done now. How did she cover up a big If you're a female celebrity, belly? it comes out in your performance. Well, she was, she was doing shoots and she was doing shows, but covering her bump. It was rumored that she was covering the bump, and so she did. Mm. Even it some was, of the costumes yeah. were kind of... 
like fluffy around this area, or poofy, so you can't really see what's happening stomach wise. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then she was sitting down. Sometimes she wasn't filmed standing up, but she had on a white dress, like a ball, like a gown. And she showed the, I mean, you saw the full bump. And it was, it was cute. It was cute. And she was like, there's a she video of her saying, <laughs> she did. There was a video of her saying, I'm finally free. I can show it because I guess they were trying to keep it, you know, keep it under wraps. Saturday Night Live is a great, you know, platform to, to, to start people talking. So yeah. they did it right. I mean, we're talking about it this week. Did y'all watch it though? Y'all watched it or y'all knew it was coming so you tuned in or did you watch the clips later on? No, know? I watched it because, um, <clears throat> people were talking about the fact she was going to be on there and Chadwick. So, of course, you know, I think a lot of people, I don't know what the ratings are. We'll see this week. Um, and then, of course, she released her album. And I wasn't, I listened to the to the album when she released it, the day that she released it, last week. Um, I didn't like the artwork for the album. <laughs> I didn't like the visual, but. The, you know, that's Max Headroom or something. Yeah. From the 80s. Yeah, from the, and because that's kind of the vibe that everybody's, Going with right now. Yeah. Well, she's kind of cartoonish in personality. So she is. She is. Uh, I think that's a part of them. Them kind of making her more pop friendly, though, because she wasn't yeah. cartoonish initially. <laughs> you know what I mean? But they've really been. What her whole persona has always been loud, extra. Loud, but yeah, I don't but think it was cartoonish, was, especially though. with the strip club stuff. It was just ratchet. Yeah, I don't think it was cartoonish. I think that's a way to make it fun. You know, make it relate to an, a crossover audience, but. In any case, the album I think is really good. I don't think that that it's good just because we don't have many options. I think it's a really good album. And I think another thing that came out was that someone um, they had a they there was a clip that was played of a guy that uh, was one of her writers, you know, rapping one of her songs, and she came back out with a great response. It was like, I don't care. You think I'm mad about that? The song is number one on the Billboard charts. Both of us are making money, and we're going to continue to. She just, you know, she acknowledged it, which I think is smart. You know, when the, the situation happened with Drake and different people, they don't talk about it, but she immediately just addressed it. Like, yes, <laughs> and we're both making money. He and I are cool and we're going to keep making money and you can keep being mad. So um, I think I think the album was real. I was really surprised. It's a really solid, in my opinion, a really solid piece. Yeah, I felt like whoever, whomever was the A&R and and like really work to like I could I felt like I could hear the work that they put into the album, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and they, all of and the songs were rushed. of a certain quality. Like right. the beats were chosen well, the samples were were done well. Um, even the features, I think that right. she had good features. So like somebody said, yeah, we're not going to mess up the bag on this one, and I, I think they succeeded. Right, yeah, definitely. Now you, I I really was looking forward to hearing you. Both your opinion, but especially you, because I know you're like a music, you're a music guy as far as like the production and all that. So like the song choices, I like wordplay. That's my favorite thing. I don't pay attention a lot of times to beats. I'm more about wordplay. I don't I don't know how much help she had, but I think from my perspective, as far as like having the female's voice, um, the female voice for her age and how women feel. She addressed, you know, men cheating, getting cheated on and, you know, being the girl that goes through those hard times with your man and how women feel. I feel like she did a great job of being a voice for her generation and just for women, period, but especially women that are, you know, the millennial woman, woman maybe the urban millennial woman. You know what was actually the dopest thing I want to say out of the album is that they found her voice, mm-hmm. right? Because when Bodak Yellow was out, I listened to, like, her mixtapes and some of the other songs that they had out, and she sounded like somebody else on every record. It right. was a different... Right. Thing that she was doing Like she did one record And in, in, um, With the Migos And she sound like She was rapping Like the Migos And I was like That's It don't work for her Right Right It didn't sound right And now She has records With a bunch of people And she sounds like herself On all of those records So It was It was continuous It, it was solid um, I don't know if they like Comped every take Like it wasn't her Best take or whatever um, or excuse me, they they only kept her best take for for each of the verses or whatever, but they did a solid job with it. <sighs> In my opinion, <laughs> I agree. I felt like it was a copy album. 
Really? Yeah, I felt like I felt like it was. I felt like every single song was a throwback to something else, or like it was like there was so much pulled from other things. Um, and I didn't think about it till just now, but Max Headroom, if you remember that that character, he was basically mocking the industry. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was mocking television and and the way that we see I- idols or whatever on screen, and. I think that it was almost like the it was kind of like the music was the same thing. I only liked like two songs. Really? Yeah, I only liked I'm two surprised. songs. Okay. And and both of those songs were because of the music. I think the sound it was the sonic of, of the of the really? track. So I like the I like it. I like it like that song. But that may be because I like the original song by whoever that dude was, uh, like P. Rodriguez or something. Uh, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? The original yeah. song. Yeah, it's like an actual salsa song right. that they got that from. So, so they, I li- they gave her her Spanish flavor. Yeah, right. I like I like that. And I like that they did that. Yeah. The other song was the Kalani. Um, I love that. Yeah. I like the way the, the the track moves. Okay. And you know, I mean, the Kalani's part is good. Cardi B's part is okay, but you know what I really noticed a lot, and I think was to me was the mistake of this album, was it showed how much better Nicki Minaj is. Whoa! I had I had no idea until I heard the wow. album. Wow! I had no idea how much better wow. Nicki was than Cardi until I heard this album. Prior, they had been fooling me. <laughs> they had been fooling me with the singles and better explain, what? Okay, explain yeah, better that. Or what? Explain that. Just better as an artist. There's more depth. Like Nicki is, has far more. Okay, de- now are we are we comparing this to Nicki's first album? Or are you comparing this to Nicki now? Because that wouldn't be fair. Because Cardi is just beginning. And Nikki's- matter of fact, let me just go there because I felt like I, I felt like although I like Cardi's album, and in, in terms of like female artist debuts, it was not. Like the benchmark for me was mm-hmm. Little Kim Hardcore, and this mm-hmm. was not that. You said that. You said that. Ah, ah. I, I you know what? It's it's crazy because I've never been a Nicki Minaj fan, but if I I have you no choice, like but it. I have no choice but to compare the two because that's what they keep putting out there in front of you. Oh, she's the she's the the um the um Nicki Killer. You know what I'm saying? Like Cardi <laughs> is the Nicki Killer. So like you have to. And now that I see what her project is. Not the singles, not what the, they're throwing out there, but I'm talking the about the, the entire body, body of work. Right. Man, she she's Nikki leaves her in the dust. The way that just her wow. flow, her flow is 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 much better. Her her sound, like her the way she attacks the mic. Mm-hmm. Nikki just and you can say she has a better engineer, maybe. But I mean, it seems like they spend a lot of money on Cardi's project. Yeah, but Nikki can Nikki can rap rap. That's and what I'm Cardi saying. Has a, Cardi has a lisp. Like she That's has some type of speech I'm impediment saying. or whatever. <laughs> They're not in the same class. Nikki is far ahead of Cardi. And like it don't matter how many Cardi projects. Tripping over her words. It don't matter how many projects we talk right. about. The first one, the wow. tenth one. I didn't know how much worse Cardi was than Nikki until she came out with a project. And it saddens me because it's not, it's not even close now. But if you were, hold on, if you were uh. listening to Cardi B and you were expecting like a flawless MC. I don't know why you were listening to Cardi B. Well, I don't think Nicki is flawless, but I think Nicki has the ability to invoke different voices and and perspective, and and she can be aggressive. It's like like you know what I'm saying. Like the difference in how Buster. Yeah, but all that right. other shit I hated about Nicki. Well, but, but do you hate it or is I it didn't just something that coming? I don't know if I hated it. I, I don't really like Nicki Minaj as an artist. I don't like the, their songs. But so I, I'm co- okay. I'm confused because I I'm you're speaking from an engineer's perspective. It sounds like uh, maybe maybe I am I didn't because think about Nicki's that. delivery was what people had a problem with Nicki's delivery early on because they said it was it was um, cartoonish. You know, she would do the. The, That's what I'm talking about. about, about, about. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I hated that. Yeah, and a lot that. of people did not like that. It wasn't like Little Kim. She she copied Little Kim, but Little Kim never did that. Did the the cartoonish type, well, like thing. the British accent and the the other thing. Just I don't know when she would go into her Barbie. I don't know. Well, like but it the was thing just, about her multiple personality. Yeah, the personality. That, that. So um, so that got a lot of criticism early on, right? Yeah, she sold trillions of albums. So. She did, she did, but it got know, but it got a lot of criticism. Probably do that too. Yeah, I heard she her do is it once, I heard that. her do it once on the record. I can't remember which one it was, but she kind of went that oh, 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 sound thing too. But, but hers isn't like Nikki. It sure isn't. Like, it's whack. <laughs> oh, wow. She's got one dimension. Cardi has one fucking dimension. Are you comparing her she to other rappers? She just found her voice. What are you talking about? She didn't even write the shit. So I don't, I don't oh. want to hear that she just found her voice shit. She's got one gear. I don't think she didn't write any of it. She's got one gear, and I didn't well, realize it. what other rappers it. don't? Well, how many gears does Jay-Z have? Jay-Z can go deep. He can go... His moment of clarity, second verse. That's what I always refer people to. Anytime you don't think Jay-Z got gears, moment of clarity, second verse. 
What does that mean? That's the verse, verse two of Moment <laughs> of Clarity, where he talks about he used to rhyme like common sense, but he did for oh, okay, okay, and he okay. didn't rhyme like common sense. He understands why he has to do certain things, but he can go there too and right. be as good as your favorite MC. But you he can also so. make a, a club hit. You don't think so? No, okay, yeah. All right. I should I should have thrown Jay Z's. I'm yeah. just I'm just trying to figure out how, are we comparing her to other rappers or other female rappers? Well, female rappers. Because rapper. I don't think that Little Kim had different gears. Little Kim was constantly talking about this. The content was the same. She sounded the same. Biggie gave her a sound and she stayed there and Little Kim is praised. Yeah, I don't so know if I'm, I can explain it. I'm just confused. I think that Car- I I really like the album and I, I don't understand I don't I didn't think that I don't think her and Nikki are the same because I think Cardi is very she everything is authentic. You're oh right. She my has something. God. She it's has authentic something shit. What are you talking about? Because it's not polished. No, it's very but, unpolished, no. in my opinion. I agree with that. And she does I'll have a, a. It's like a speech, and she has a, like some type of speech thing. I don't want to call it an impediment, but it's an accent. It's a very thick accent with something else going on. <laughs> But it to me it, it creates authentic. her own sound. Yeah, yeah, but that's would, not authentic. That's not what authentic means. Well, first of all, her being authentic is the fact that she just says stuff like it is, and she doesn't. I'm surprised that she even allowed them to to cover the pregnancy this long because even like with her clapping back immediately on the people accusing her of having a ghostwriter, when people accused her of being stupid for staying with Offset because he was cheating on her, like she right. just she's just very in your face and honest, and she seems to have the same. Who picked her? Let's just go. Let's just go all the way there. What do you who, mean? Who, who picked her? Who picked? Because everybody's saying her name. Who picked her? Who picked I think her it was just what? her. I think it was she's just the time. voice. She's the the person. She's the one. That who that, picked her? That that audience. Which audience? Her audience. First of all, social media driven because she was popular on Instagram before she was on Love and Who Hip-Hop. picked her to be the one? Because she seems like she's the one. She well, is I the think, one. I think actually Cardi B is what people. Thought Jocelyn was going to be. I don't think anybody <laughs> thought Jocelyn was going to be that. Okay, <laughs> someone. This is the second Jocelyn time he's called her name. You know that, right? I didn't somebody, I didn't somebody's got a crush on Jocelyn. I didn't know he was somebody talking wanted about. the Puerto Rican princess. <laughs> somebody wanted that shit. What accent is that? I have no idea. It's, it was Puerto it's a Rican. Terrible one, you but know, it, yeah, you know. no, jo- I never thought Jocelyn was going to be <laughs> this person. <laughs> the, 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 the Jocelyn one. twice now. I know. I just. Okay, I didn't think that. You got to reset. You, you, I, yeah, can, you got really, to reset like, for that. Totally hey. reset. <laughs> Somebody I don't think, was thinking it. Really? I which, don't, which, I song, so. which song were they thinking it on? You know who I, I think? I think that people... <laughs> no. <laughs> not going to do it. I think that people thought Remy Ma, when she did the diss, mm. might have been able to be a contender to Nicki. Because I think people were tired of Nicki being the only female rapper. I mean, the BET hip hop female rapper category, they were pulling... I mean, Rashida but, and different people that hadn't put out projects for years. That, like there that, was uh, nothing else. That chick concert you went to. The Queens the of Legends. Hip-hop. That was the, the Queens, yeah. The Queens, no. Said that chick concert. But they <laughs> were. They were pulling people that hadn't <laughs> put out anybody. projects Nikki in years. Nikki like, They were just, because Nikki what? had no competition. So when Nikki would go up and get her award, it was just like, I mean, there's, and I think people wanted her to have. Did we talk about the Roxanne movie on here yet? <laughs> I, we, we, can we, we come did. back? We touched on it. We did. We did. It was we bad, did. right? Did we say it was bad? I did not say that. We didn't talk about it on here, We're did we? We're implementing the code. Right. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, great movie. I didn't say great movie. I just said, shouts out to Roxanne Shante. Okay, so they were pulling... They were, so pulling. were pulling people to be... I think people wanted to see a contender. And Remy Ma came out with that diss. I think some people thought, ooh... Remy's not pretty enough. <laughs> it's true, though. Well... It's true. Okay. Remy, Remy's not ugly. She is not pretty enough. Hey, right. Hell, okay. Young and May look like prodigy. Well, no Young one thought, and May that, had never no one had thought that she was. She gonna, never had no a chance, dude. That, no one thought that she was I mean, going to be the one. It's not about pretty. It is it's about. No, it is. No, it is it's about, about pretty. pretty. It is about pretty, it's, though. It Nikki, is. it is. It is. I hate that, but it is. With a female, who? That's another thing. Picked her. I'm just saying that people, <laughs> because y'all won't say it. It's the internet. I think social media picked her. And who picked her, Kevin? Oh. <laughs> Who picked Cardi B? Just tell us, be honest. Obviously, right. you know. You have the answer. White people picked her. You're allowing them to pick this ratchet ass woman no, who can't white talk. White people did now, not. Are you fucking Cardi kidding me? If I said that, it would have sound racist. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you just told me earlier that she's on Jimmy Fallon as a co host, not as a, a guest. She's a co host. Gen- no, that's never been done before. Ever. No. She was now, on Saturday Night Live. When's the last that's time? That's difficult. That, to- that, is, that is some good white people evidence. When's the last Proceed. time you watched Fallon? 
I watched I it. love The Roots. No, no. When is the last time you tuned in and said, you know what? I'm, I got to catch Jimmy Fallon tonight. Not because somebody's on, but just because you watched that show. Okay, no. How many times? I don't. When's the last time you watched Saturday Night Live? Uh, Eddie Chappelle. Murphy. Exactly, exactly. Dave Chris Chappelle. Rock was on there. Yeah. No, but when have you, no, okay, but when have you ever tuned in just to watch Saturday Night Live? You'll wait. It's been a while. Okay, let me ask you another question. <laughs> Who the fuck album goes gold in a week anymore without wait. white support? Well, Black Panther didn't go over a billion without white support. He's white right. people made Black, Black Black Panther go a billion sold. Okay, well, hold on. I just want to wow. say this because it didn't. It, she didn't. She didn't go gold in twenty four hours. Not twenty four hours. Bodak Yellow had, had been released long right. time before the album came out. Right. So all of the stats that Bodak Yellow had accumulated right. count towards right. Okay. What the album good. Is good doing point. Today. However, it still required <laughs> the white dollar. To make that shit do what it did, black people didn't make that shit do that. You're right. I'm not arguing. You're right. You're so right. What I mean, we knew that when Bruno Mars. And right. So what I'm trying to say. Hold on. Hold on. What I'm trying to say. Social media picked her. When I said social media, that she had two million followers before she went on. No, 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 that's good. That's free though. See, social media followers are free. Right. That's how white people decided. Oh, we can sell this one. Okay. So white people are like, oh, we're gonna pick this one because look how loud she is. White look how ignorant she acts. That's authentic. Oh. That's not black people. Black people don't act like her. I'm ashamed that my yes, black they friends. Do. He sounds so show business. I'm right ashamed now, that my black friends are saying that that's authentic because she's <laughs> ratchet and because she says what well, I don't know the fucking. Da, 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 da. That's a fucking authentic. Oh my God, what I think, was ah, like all the noises and shit. I that's do. authentic. I think, I think that that's authentically her. It's her. it's a little, but that's it's a not little black like, people. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I Lucille do think, Ball. I it's do a little think, Lucille no, Ball, I but do I think, think that, that's that there actually are her. a lot of girls in the hood that um, that that that. That are like Cardi B, and I you're do. saying that that's I who we not. want to be the but, one. But you know I do what? Think all so. of those, no, all of those, like when Tiana Taylor was in that Tyler Perry movie, I buy I hated that. Yeah. All that shit. Like the if she, was, if she was sitting <laughs> next to me, God, like I would move. That was a character in one movie one time that you saw me. No, for but there's a character, oh, right? But that's that's no. Cardi B come to life. I understand, but what I'm saying is they have positioned her to be the one. She's the representative. And you're saying because it's authentic. And I'm saying, fuck, that is not authentic. That's not authentic to but, me. But to say the, you're not the, the you're one, You're not the audience, though. though. Not, We're talking about a millennial audience. Cardi B is yes. 23 years old. I understand. We're talking so about So you're telling Urban. me you're okay with her being the one for us. I don't know that she's the one. I wasn't okay with Nicki Minaj being the one. Nicki Minaj's uh, content... Well, let's, let's take it back to Lil' Kim. Even salt and pepper, female rap, female hip hop content has always been over sexualized because that's because they're in a male dominated industry, and that's the only way female rappers can 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 get ahead is to go the sexual over overly sexual route. That's always been the case. Name one female rapper that's been successful, t- commercially successful, that hasn't been over sexualized, and and you, you will not be able. Only two rappers that have been commercially successful. But the rest of them are not going to be able to, which is a point that I brought up with. MC Light and Queen Latifah and rappers like that that had no they had, there's no place because you gotta be you gotta fit the stereotype of what men want to fuck and you gotta talk the talk about what men want to hear. It's not about females. I'm gonna and throw so, it back in your face. Lauren Hill has. Uh, I don't know the dudes. Dudes Lauren are. Lauren Hill was was the best and she's an anomaly. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it back in your face. Did, Y'all no, got no, me. You, she did, but it wasn't I, a rap album though. It, it was a, it was a hip hop album. It was not a hip hop album. There was a lot of R and B on that album, and it wasn't somebody feature. She was singing. But I, I would consider that. I think that, that's why people hold Lauren Hill in such high regard is because she did not fit the mold. Okay, she did. She carried herself different. But on but when we think of female hip hop, we think of raunchiness. Yeah, sexuality being. I'm about you know, raunchy, ob- but definitely sexuality. Objectification, of definitely. Course. That's what you. So yeah. so you I'm guys, just saying. That's so what you guys saying, are Nikki, entertainment. So you're though. saying. So you're saying that Cardi is different. I'm not saying I agree different. with it, but it is, that's what y'all Why are. is Cardi different than Nicki? Why is Cardi, Cardi's, Nicki talks about the same stuff that Cardi does. Because yes, Cardi's me. just doing it right now. I, I don't agree. know. I don't know that Cardi is the one. I don't know that Nikki she, is the oh, one. Oh, she's the one. This, I know this success is I more than, than, than Nikki no, ever had. I know that had. Cardi is one, no, but no. she's not the one. Yes, There's not going to be another female no, rapper. They'll be, they'll be on somebody else next year. No, they won't. You know won't. how the industry is. They'll Nikki has had it for else. eleven years. Nicki Minaj has been the only female rapper for eleven. years. Years. You think there's going to be two or three now? You don't think no. they wasn't trying to find somebody else? Yes, and they haven't. Hey. Only one gets through. 
They haven't. So I don't think, no, there's not going to be another one. So you want this for 11 more years? I don't. It's like So now that Cardi's out, you don't don't think Nicki coming back out? It's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Nah. Okay, we'll see. What did you say? What did you say? He said Nicki's going to come back out. And do what? (laughs) No, I'm asking. I'm not joking. I'm asking. No, I think Nicki's going to come back out and at least establish herself again. Like, say, you know, I ain't gone nowhere. Like, I still got my shit. The generation, the younger generation is what pushes hip hop. The and Cardi is. But this that is next not hip hop, is what I'm saying. This is hip hop. No, Jimmy Fallon is not hip is no longer hip hop. That's what I'm that's the Nicki point I was Minaj making. Nicki Minaj was was doing uh So you're saying uh, there's a blurry line between hip hop and entertainment. No, no but, I'm saying at this point she's the one. She's the black person right now, and yeah. now I'm not okay with that. But Nikki was that too. And Nikki No, was, I don't think so. Nikki was. She was on Ellen. Nikki Nikki had yeah. music that she went on tour she with Britney Ellen? Spears. She co hosted. She didn't co host, but that Nikki, was Nikki Nikki Def, especially with that Barbie shit, Nikki yeah, had more she went white on, girls she went when she went on when she went on tour with Britney Spears, I was like, "Oh, it's about to be a wrap." Because she pulled Britney Spears, you don't get more pop than okay, that. Okay, I'm a, okay, let me ask you like this. This is bad. So, if we if <laughs> let's say you decided, okay, black people, we got to give the keys to Nicki Minaj, right? We got to give them the Cardi. Hold on, hold on. we got to give her the keys, right? Yeah. So, are you watching your 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 news feed every few minutes to see what she done wrecked into? Or are you like, okay, she she probably got it? I don't know if I'm I'm not I'm I don't know if I'm safe with just giving the keys to Cardi. Like, all right, she's good, we got her. But were you that way with Nikki though? Is what I'm I don't asking. remember ever worrying about it. I've not, until this point. I well, don't. Maybe you're at a different place in your life. Maybe. I feel like Cardi got a different team though. Yeah. I hope so. I feel like Cardi, like yeah, now that uh, QC and them got on. Our Man, owner. fuck yeah, all that. that Let me know. Fuck nah, all that. Listen. Nah, those are good guys. Over nah, it's not I about them. They... I'm not talking about them. What I'm saying is that they're not in control of this shit. White people are controlling this. That's why they let this bullshit get through, and that's why she's the one. Because they're gonna let it be the one. But that's they the, want all, her to that's be. That's the case all the time. Yeah, but I don't want her to be the one. Just me. I, I don't mind if she gets her bread. I don't mind if like she makes her, her being, money. I like but her to be I don't the want one. her to be the one. I like her to be the one. She's an underdog. I'm rooting for. I mean, you know. That's why it's gonna work. They got us. I like it's it. It's already going to work. They're going to sell the, this it's shit. It's already going to work. It's they the gonna opposite have her of doing Nikki. The craziest shit. It's already staged. They gonna Dude, sell do it. you realize her album came out the week that she appears on SNL and then revealed that she's pregnant? I know. But on I, that platform, dude, it's already <sighs> there. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. Fuck if you mad about it or not, it's there. But that's what I'm saying, though. We I'm, good. I'm happy for her. Go, Cardi. I'm not I'm not unhappy for her. I'm what I don't like is that she's the like I said, I want her to get her money. I think that she's she's talented, mm-hmm. but I don't want her to be the one. That's all. That's but my just, only concern. My, my, my problem that is that what? the one that they say, oh, this is black people. This is the black person. But right Nicki Minaj now. This is how was black, that for so long. And she did a better job to me than I feel like Cardi's gonna be able to do so. because of this. Authentic thing you're saying. I don't, I don't want her showing so. her ass like that. That's not what black people are. Nikki, Cardi B. Nikki no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Because we, we have to. No, we got to stop doing this with artists too. We always, every time we put somebody in the spot, like they have to represent all Everybody. of the culture on this level of of, of holiness right. that is is fucking untouchable. Right. No bullshit. No. Bullshit. Bullshit is no, not untouchable. It's not, it's, yo, if you're you the one, you, you have you have a certain that. responsibility. You can't Nikki to she do that. Bullshit. Know. Barack Obama was the one. But that's a total different. But yeah, but that's. But listen, but listen to what I'm, Obama, listen to my I point. Don't want you to, I don't if you're want you to the do one, he ain't got to run shit. Man, I don't this want. Not, I don't want no. white people or anybody else looking at the world in the world, looking at black people like that's 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 black people. Yo, I didn't want. Right. I didn't want little dear Kim Caucasians. To be that. If you are judging me based on Cardi B's action, you they will solely fucked up. And they will. What did you say about China just last week? China, what? Remember we when we talked about China what, and, what? The, and the, the tariffs that they no, imposed what China, on what China thought about people be, until they saw Black Panther. That was your comment. With, whose comment was that? I don't know what you're referring to right what now. What do you guys say you something just threw about that out there? What do you guys say something about China, Chinese people? They had like did interviews with them, and prior to Black, they thought Black Panther was too black. They didn't want to see Black Panther. They rather see something like Captain America because it was too black. Yes, the world does not necessarily know what you know in Atlanta, Georgia. And what your experiences are. So what okay. I'm saying is when you're telling somebody as being the one, I I hold that person very responsible. I'm sorry. Yes, Cardi B is responsible now because to the world, she is black people, even though she's not even black. Yes, she is. <sighs> even though she's not even black, she is talented. The world sees her as black people. And I feel like she does have a responsibility. Charles Barkley, my ass. I'm not a role so, model. So, yeah, so what does that, that mean? She's supposed to... No, that means we need to pick better the ones. 
Think that's what she's I'm supposed saying. to dress modestly now. Yeah. She's supposed to. Uh, you, I mean, you can you can because, I mean, if you no, want. I'm, I'm I'm being serious Go though ahead. in like trying to represent all black people. Okay. To to all white. She's not necessarily supposed to represent all black people, but she needs to represent a certain thing because she is the uh, the eyes are on her to be a representation. Whether or not you or I or Crystal want her to be or accept that she is, she is to the world. So in in that there is a certain responsibility that falls on her shoulders. Whether she, whether you think it's unfair or not, it's the fucking truth. It's just the way it is. I feel like all she can do is represent herself, stay black, and die. Okay, that sounds cute. But when you're the one, you have more responsibility. That's just, I mean, we can disagree on it, but that's just how I feel. I get you. Crystal is bowed out. I don't know that she's the one. She's a one. <sighs> well, damn. Think, who is it? She's not. I think she is the one, but I think hip hop females have all, we've always celebrated. What's raunchy and what's, you know, what's over the top with hip hop, period. Definitely with females, because we always have to take it up a notch and we always have to cater to the other. So she, I, I think she is the one, but I don't have a problem. I don't see a difference between Nikki and Cardi, except Nikki is not this generation. Cardi is. So I think this generation is a lot different than, yeah. than, than, we, than our generation. And, the, and, and, and I'm not Nikki's generation, so Nikki's generation was different. Right. And this generation relates to Cardi more than they do Nikki, and that's why she's the But that's one. not what we were asking, I thought. I, that wasn't what we were, we were reviewing it for. No, I, I like the album. I wouldn't turn the album off. All that being said, all that mm-hmm. I just said, I wouldn't mm-hmm. turn the album off. It's, it's like you say, it's put together well. They choose, they chose the right beats. You know what I'm saying? They they gave the right the right messages for what her platform is. But I'm just saying, when I heard it, if we're talking about comparison between Nicki and her, I feel like Nicki hit the gas on her a little bit without even putting out a song. Mm. I that's the but you agree with that? You think that you said if, if the rapping was if it was about rapping, and yeah, I was bar for bar, perfect think, artist. Then, yeah, bar for bar, I think Nicki's a better rapper, right? But I, I think Cardi is entertaining, and I mean that's kind of what Cardi got to do right now. She, I think she has, she has. If she wanted a shot to show us what she got, she got it. She got a bunch of people behind her. She has no reason to be anything less than successful. I give you that. All right. Well, you know, I for whatever reason, I, it's good to see some something changing, and 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 I mean, her co-host and Jimmy Fallon is something different. I'm happy to see things changing. Maybe this opens the door for another artist, black, white, Puerto Rican, whatever, just, you know, to do different things and express different things. This definitely is outside of the mold of what, you know, we've been used to seeing and hearing with artists on Jimmy Fallon. (laughs) But, I mean, you know, the world is made up of a lot of different things, and this definitely, she has an audience that is definitely, um, that resonates with her voice and is championing her on, and I think they feel success by seeing her. And, you know, see, I'm all that's, for it. That's not the audience, though, Crystal. That's what I'm trying to say. There are so many people involved in this that do not look and, and talk like her or live or grew up with her. There are, but there are a lot of people yeah. that do. There are a lot of, there are two million people that were following this girl before she even got on television. Love and hip hop chased her. That lets us know. Mona Scott is in touch with the culture, if nothing else. And that lets us know she that there are been. a lot of people that were following this girl. Even the way she has, I mean, she has a lot of haters now because she's successful. But I read the comments and I watch even, you know, some of the things that she's she's doing. She definitely speaks up for those those people that our generation, you know, does in, not in connect what way? with. In what way? I think she's just honest. I think that there's that's missing and and that has been missing in entertainment just like for instance her response to to a, to people hating on her okay I, I, my favorite of course you guys know Beyonce Beyonce went through all this stuff with Jay-Z we don't feel that there was authenticity or sincerity in anything that they've done because it feels like it was all done for promotion right all stage I put out exactly this girl gets cheated on. People start talking and she comes on Insta- on Instagram, on live, without a publicist, telling her what to say and says, look, I'm getting cheated on. That hurt. But you know what? Y'all getting cheated on too. What am I supposed to do? I'm young. I'm out here. I love this man. I'd rather stay with him than leave him and, and be with somebody else who's going to cheat on me. I don't know, but neither do you. To me, I respect that. I'm not saying I don't like what Beyonce you know, does because I feel like there's a time and a place for everything, especially as a publicist. But I do have to respect a young woman that says, hey, I may be wrong, but I'm 20-something. I'm learning. Forget y'all. Y'all, y'all learning too. Y'all dealing with the same thing I am. Yeah. I think you have to respect that. Yeah. That's true. 
I, I mean, there's nothing you can say to that. Any, even me being a woman my age, I have to respect that. She's telling the truth. For all the people hating on her, every woman has dealt with that, been in that situation. And for other people to be throwing stones at you at the time when you're hurting and trying to figure it out, for her to just have the balls to come back and say, hey, yeah, it may be wrong, but you doing it too. I'm no, she said, I'm no different than you. And I think for so long, Nicki Minaj, would ne- not that she should, I'm not saying that everyone should do that, but I'm saying that takes a lot of courage. And I'm saying that that also empowers young people that see that to realize that, you know, she's just another person. She's not different. She always gets on there and says that. People making fun of me because I, my teeth were messed up. She's just very honest. And I think when you're honest that way, that empowers other people that look up to you. I'll give you that. That's definitely honesty, and it's something we don't get to see. Yeah, I give you that because I can't say nothing about that. I think that if that's what we're talking about is authenticity, mm-hmm. then I agree with you. But that's not what I see when I hear people saying authenticity. Well, that's that's what I, I see I mean. her. I see her acting a goddamn fool somewhere, and then people say she's so authentic. I'm like, what? But see, I don't think that that to me is. I don't. Like I don't see that. That uh, yeah. <laughs> you do. Yeah, you sound like a parent. But I think, I think, <laughs> well, I'm out there wearing that crap. But I think that, that happens. That happens with with maturity, and that's why I said I think Nicki Minaj's crew. Nicki Minaj is in her early thirties. She thinks she's thirty four. So that means she's ruined. She, according to the, the according to you all, she's already past the point. So Cardi is the fresh, yeah. But but there's a whole generation that is in between that that doesn't connect with her. That right. really really want to hear that. Truth. I mean, that's a, I, one thing I think social media does is it's forced people to have to be honest. When we were growing up, celebrities were supposed to hide. Even we're talking about pregnancy. You know, Janet Jackson, secret pregnancy. I, my, my client, Chili from TLC, she had to go to Mexico while she was pregnant because we they didn't want people to see her pregnant because they were sex symbols. Well, now, you you if you're pregnant, someone's going to see a picture, you take a picture of you and put it online. So it's, poor, it's forced people to see the real behind the mask with celebrities. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. But I think that she's from that generation where you put everything out on the table. Yeah, my man's cheating on me. So is yours. We just in this together, girl. We're trying to figure this out. So I've been gaining weight. She had one video. I've been gaining weight because I've been eating cookies late at night. But I just put on my waist trainer where other... <laughs> <laughs> Janet Jackson goes away and then she comes back svelte. Right. What happened? And I remember thinking when I was younger, like, does Janet Jackson not... Eat like, like, what is wrong with me? Yeah, like rumors she got ribs removed and stuff. Yeah, like you know, because you just you all of a sudden see pebbles in this very airbrushed, overly beautiful thing, and think I am just just horrendous compared. Yeah, what what is wrong with me? (laughs) Cardi B is on there smacking, chewing, just doing whatever, being herself. See, but that's the part. Like, okay, I don't mind the authenticity when it comes to being honest about how she feels about the world and how the world is interacting with her and the things that she hates and the things that she loves and what drives her and what sets her back. I don't mind that authenticity. But when I see all that smacking and the extra, I don't know if that's being a dad or just having the the idea that, you know what I'm saying, we can we cannot show all of that. But you know what I do think? it is Part of it is being a dad. When I remember just like when my sisters started to like Body started to develop and all of this, and boys are calling the house and all of this. I remember Plies coming on the radio, and I was like, "Oh my God, yo, we cannot! Li- uh-huh. No, 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 no! Turn that shit off now!" Like, well, like Busted Baby or something, right? It was, it was a bunch of shit like that. I mean, you know, Plies had a run, yeah, right. So we had a couple records, uh-huh. but I, I was instantly like, "Oh my God!" I was, I was enjoying this music before partying to it, and now I see that it could be detrimental to this beautiful young soul, and I can't let her be tainted. And so, yeah, all of that, you're definitely being a dad. I don't know. I guess anything's possible. You you got dad ears. Speaking of being a dad, there was a horrible video uh, released of Fabulous and his, I think it's his fiance, not his wife, fiance Emily where he um, he's she's been a vi- victim of domestic violence in the video that was released fabulous is going physically going after her he's being held off by his bodyguards and her father and her father he's in the video he says he has a bullet for her father he's he's upset um, I guess this is right after the altercation and the dad has come and I believe her brother and um, one of my my friends asked me today as a public relations professional did I think, what would I do with Fabulous? And I just told him, like, 
honestly lay low. I know you guys have seen the Ike Turner uh, memes where they've put um, Fabulous's face on Ike Turner's body and... I, I mean, it's it it's, it's pretty. There was <laughs> oh, they went straight to it. He bad. woke yeah. up in Chris Brown's body. I was like, damn. Yeah, man. that was with the song with the Freaky Friday. That's right. not what Freaky Friday was about. It was very horrible. Like, that wasn't fair to they Chris. Had, I know Chris didn't even but, do it. He didn't want to be in that. They had fabulous dancing. I woke right. up in Chris Brown's body. All bad. Internet is undefeated. No, that's funny. It that was funny. funny, but. Not cool. So it's okay to make fun of women getting beat up now. No, it's not. It's, oh. That's what and that's what the internet. Well, you suggests. know what? Yeah, because my problem was the week previous we were actually like people were deleting Snapchat because they made fun of domestic violence survivors and Rihanna said so, so we're all doing it. And that's bad, right? And then the very next week, everybody was laughing at Fabulous and Emily B. And so I, felt, I, don't know, I found that to be a little off. But I think it's because we don't know. I think, I think many people are still like, I don't know if this really happened or not. Well, I, I think that it, it, there's definitely proof that it happened. There, there have been reports that, that, that they have had issues before. Okay. Um, but there's a police report that she experienced. I mean, that there, there's physical evidence of domestic violence against her. And if you saw the... Did you see the video? Which video of him of outside? Of him going, yeah, him outside. Yeah, but that didn't show anything. It didn't show him hitting her, but there's definitely proof that there's some aggression. And he looked like it didn't he was sh- being restrained. It, it showed proof of what? Him being aggressive. Aggressive? Yeah. What does that mean? Aggressive? Hey, Would you like me to no, look up the ag- word aggressive? No, aggre- especially as a man. Especially as a man. If you, if she, all she has to say is, I'm in fear. Okay, so. If, if she says she's afraid and the police went there and they saw that with him being aggressive or if there was damage to the home in some right. way, the state picking up that case. Yeah. Even if she don't want those charges, well, no, she I, said, I, I'm not going no, to press charges. she's probably not going to no. press charges they're, they're because they've not, been together she don't for have a long to. time. That video, the state will not, take that, that video is not enough for any charges of any kind. It's not, but there's more than the video. That's what I need yeah, to know. And that's what I think everybody else is still kind of on the fence of. That, and if, there's no pictures of... That's her. yeah, and I heard that 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 there were pictures of Rihanna. Well, but right. the pictures were leaked. The pictures were never supposed to be out. Those pictures were leaked illegally, actually, because they were not supposed to be leaked. Yeah, right. the police station sh- that that should never happen. And I would say, just uh, you know, no one deserves unless they're okay with that. Because just like that was hurtful for Chris Brown, I'm sure Rihanna didn't want the country seeing her like that. You know what I mean? So that that was that was not supposed to be done. That's what. Take took that case to the next level, um, and I think that's also what made the public. That's why radio stations were not playing his record. It wasn't because they heard Chris Brown hit Rihanna because you see those pictures. pictures and it's like, whoa, you know what I mean? That yeah. that that can't happen. So, according to reports, of course, this is allegedly. We can't say that you know. I don't know anyone in her camp for certain that 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 uh that co-signed this, but they saying that her that her teeth were knocked out. If that is the case, you know, my I can't I was telling him like he needs to, domestic violence is a very serious issue of un, sadly 20 years ago he could have put out another song and it would have been fine. But I think because of the, the the place that we are as a country right now when people are paying attention to women, it's you know, it's woman's it's a woman's it's the year of the he's woman. He's clearly in a bad space right he's now. He's in a very he bad space. He actually has been doing shows, though. He has been doing shows, but he actually has been pulled from the last few shows. Okay. Because the show that he did the, the, the following day, and maybe that person, I mean, he was already booked for that show, but that, that uh, radio station got a lot of flack for having okay. him perform. Um, so, you know... And they had already paid him, so they had to go through with it. Well, I don't even think they had. I think that it was too late. Yeah, it it was too late in the in the in that for that that the information had just come out, and it was the next day. But I think the difference in this case, though, in other cases, is fabulous. Yeah, I don't think he's the normal domestic abuser type. So it's so it's like difficult for a lot of people. So even people who would be like, "Oh, that's wrong," a lot of those people are still like, "Well, can we get some more?" Information because mm-hmm. you know, like I think a lot more people are willing to wait. In this case, maybe because he has never been an aggressive type. He's never been aggressive to guys or women. We like, don't know what we've never you know seen what? that. Well, you know? little, little Mo was defending him online too, and she's got a got a lot of flack because anytime you defend someone who mm-hmm. seems as though they are the aggressor, yeah, right, then you look stupid or whatever, <laughs> right? 
But um, she said one thing that kind of caught my attention, and it was, how is he putting his hands on her with her father and her brother present? Well, I, I don't what know. I heard is that the father and the brother came. The father and the brother came because she called them when they were fighting. I did see that she got flagged for that. I don't. She didn't know because she wasn't there. The game made a statement. And he said, uh, we should pray for both sides. And he got blasted. Um, you know, and I... Well, I can see how that would sound... Because that sounds almost like... To well, both. no, Trump said both sides. <laughs> and... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't like it when Trump says it. That's what I don't... I just don't want no, us I to mean, be I mean, anytime it's... It, sometimes less is more. Sometimes less is more. I think the game. I think that the game is probably speaking. That's probably his friend. He would have did better off just, just saying, saying, "Pray for all of those involved," or just not saying, especially anything. the kids. Playing for the kids. That would have been great because he wasn't. He wasn't going to say Emily and not fabulous because he's because he's trying to have his boys back. But if he had said the kid, you know, the kids. Are so, the but real- what if he? What if his boys back is necessary? Like, what if we should have fabulous? Back? Sometimes you got to tell you tell your boy he wrong though. But what if he's not wrong? But that's what I'm saying. What, what if, if we didn't should hit her? Yeah. What if we should have fabulous's back? We're already jumping to him out. You you shouldn't say that. But we don't know if we should say it or not. But we don't is, know what to say. And you know what? Because that that's the do I want to say the full circle of the Chris Brown and Rihanna situation? At the time, we thought Chris Brown was a demon. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. He attacked that girl, and there's no reason to uh, attack the innocent yeah, she just America's sweet little girl. sweetheart Rihanna. Right. And then years later, we found out that she was the one. And it was too late throwing them balls. But it was too little, too late because at that right. point, his career. Is- but the man. But uh, also, I, I think in the situation, the man thing to do is to take the blame. You're right. I was. He know what he did, but you're right. I was the monster. I was the bad well, guy. Well, I think regardless, right? if we knew, even if that people to knew, help. even if people knew Rihanna was hitting Chris Brown, the pictures of Rihanna's face, and because he's a a a man. Hitting a woman, I think it's still going to be a man is still going to be right. demonized for it. I think I even it, if yeah. even if people heard that Emily was hitting him, because we do know there are domestic violence situations where both people are physical. Yeah, but you're not going to say both sides in the age of of Me Too. Well, no, you can say both sides, no. but it's still going to be it's still not going to be looked at the sides. same because a woman is going a man has the potential to hurt a woman. Usually in a different way. I'm not going to say all the time because there are men that are victims of domestic violence as well. Yeah, but we laugh at them when men. We don't laugh when men are victims of domestic violence or sexual abuse. We laugh at them. We don't laugh. No, at them. men. Men have been sexually abused, they and, have. and when they come out and talk about it, it's a joke. Well, I and that's a good point that you brought when up. Terry I Cruz, watched, I watched, he was, well, that was not a joke. Terry Crews is a really big man. I mean, he's a really big man. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, I I I empathize. But he's a big man. But my problem is, is that we're still not addressing the fact that we don't even know that what Fabulous happened? hit her at all. Right. There's there there was a report that that her teeth were knocked out, but we don't we're not even sure yet that he hit her at all. Yet we're already at the point of ostracization. We're telling he's got got to cut out these shows, cut out this, cut out that, because we saw a video of him being aggressive, as you say, aggressive. I'm not sure that. Everyone is ready to jump yet because in in the back of our minds we're still like Fabulous has never given us the uh, the the opinion of him that he's this guy. He's never been a hothead. Mm-hmm. He's never been out anywhere uh, holding gun, toting. You know what I'm saying? Like right. he's right. never been this guy in the public. So for somebody to accuse him of this, I think more people are, are like, we need to see. We want to see. Well, it. I think it's gonna definitely come out because I definitely think that, I don't think this case is going anywhere. Um, it's a because I because from what I hear the state's going to press charges on it because it's got to that point. I don't from what I hear and I again this is all hearsay so we can't say that it's is fact or fiction. But he and his his girl have been together for like twenty years almost. So you know mm-hmm. if this has happened, it probably wasn't the first, the first time, time. Right? You know what I mean? And so at this point, it's um, kind of out of her hands. So we'll see. I just, I think that it's it's a precarious situation with a person's career because there are a lot of people that are in careers that are not, you know, entertainment related that are able to keep their jobs even if they go through something like this. So, right. but when you're in an entertainment, uh, in the entertainment field, something you do that is this 
drastic can definitely affect your career. Yeah. If this is true, I do think that it will affect, you know, Fabulous's career. Because as much as you say, like, we need to see, we don't need to see. Why? One, it's not our business. Well, no, right? no, no, So I'm they saying... can do, because she'll, she'll be right back with, you could tell her to leave and all of that stuff, but she'll be right back with them. And then number two, especially in the climate that's going on right now, women primarily have already made their minds up about the situation, just like with Chris Brown and Rihanna. We may not find out the truth, if at all, for years. A lot of time could pass before we actually say, okay, I, this I guess, happened and that happened and this makes sense. But the but truth for is right that now, doesn't make sense, though. For it right now, in terms of perception, he's guilty. But Chris and Brown was still guilty. Is. Chris Brown, as much as I love Chris Brown, he was still guilty. Even if Rihanna did hit him, he still was guilty. He still... The pictures still show him being guilty. I, I, even if she there did, there were never pictures of Chris from that night. Yes, there were. What? No, yes, there what were. There are pictures of him. him from that night? There are pictures After of him as Lambo? well. And he, yeah, he. It does show scratch. There, there were scratches on his neck. There were pictures of him as well because he was arrested, and they took pictures of him. He. That's he not has, what got leaked. I never saw those pictures. I, I saw no, the pictures of Rihanna. Yeah, I never because saw that, pictures be, of Chris. because that made sense. That and that's what looked. Provocative. He had he had scratches on him, but not to the extent of Rihanna. And they, in the police report, because I was heavily intrigued by the case, they they show her skin under him. Like it was it it was a fight, but he punched her in the face, and you know she threw key. I mean we we heard the story, right. but even if a girl does hit him. And he punches her in the face and blacks her eye and busts her lip. He's still guilty. So even if Emily and Fabulous were fighting, there's still not a reason, if he did, for him to allegedly knock out her teeth. That's never going to be, a, that's never going to make sense. Is there wait, ever wait, wait, a reason if, a woman should wait, get if hit Wait, if she ever? hit him first. It's still if, not a reason for him to knock out her teeth. Is there ever a reason him? to hit a woman is what I'm asking. I don't believe so. I know a woman, uh, this is that's, this is not funny, but I almost laughed. I know a woman who's got her teeth come out. Like Here her front come. her front teeth come out. It's coming. And like what if he just like, I'm you know, if he hit her, head. they're gonna if he just hit her in the back of the head, her teeth would probably come out. They're like bridges. You know what I'm saying? Like, what if they're bridges? But that's I, I almost laughed because I thought I that the visual of that girl getting hit and something flying out of her face like Mama D from Love and Hip Hop when her tooth came out. When she was singing, remember that? I do. <laughs> you like the visual? I just... But no, but is there ever a reason to hit a woman? Ever? Is I there don't... ever a reason? I believe that there's there can be a reason to get a woman off of you. No, 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 yes. no, no. What? No, no. So you don't think there's there's there are some reasons that you I don't... tap dance. I don't think that there's ever a reason to punch a woman. No. Okay. Ever. Do I think, do, no. Do I think there's a reason to a man? I don't now. Do that's why I would tell my son. No, do but that's not. bullshit. And you know it is. You tell your son if somebody was attacking your son's kid. Okay, he's that's different. Supposed that's to different. Molly that's walked different. that bitch. You're, that's no, different. No, but but I asked you, was there ever? We don't know what happened between you Emily always and. Here we the, have no idea what happened. What if we found out that Emily was abusing the kids right in front of him, and she was doing some. Pin what the fuck is you doing to my daughter? I, God damn, what the fuck is you doing to We have no idea. We, and I'm not making excuses for Fabulous. I'm saying, I'm asking you, forget Fabulous and Emily. Is there ever a in reason? In a one-on-one, woman-man situation with no one else in the, no one else involved in the, in the scuffle, I don't, my suggestion to my son would be. That's not what I asked you. A, is there ever a reason to hit a woman, a man? If it's just because see, I hear I hear guys jumping up here championing this shit talking about it's never a reason. I'm a real man. It's never a reason to hit one. I'm asking, is there ever, ever, in all possibility, there's never a reason to punch a woman in the face. In la- and if it's just you and a woman, if you're gonna bring in kids and all kinds of extra stuff, no, I'm not doing that. Well, I mean, but I'm that's not. There's, there's domestic, no world where a man a domestic, or woman are in a vacuum. In a so domestic, there are gonna be other things. Usually, when these things happen, it's just two people. If there yeah, were but other people, it wouldn't happen. But it's not the people. It's the it's the situation. Why why do these things? Why does someone get angry? Why does someone get angry enough to punch a woman? I'm not saying that punching a woman is good. I'm asking, is there ever a reason? That's all. And you said no. Fine. I don't believe there is. You agree with that? No. Wholeheartedly. How does that make you feel at all? You don't, does that have any emotional? No. After two, you're, no. Just, you're just worn out. Yeah, I mean, I you know. Well, <laughs> well, okay. So the reason the reason I say this is because that if I don't think there's ever a good reason to hit anyone, right? However, if someone hits you, 
They don't control how you retaliate and with how much force. Right? So if a girl hits a guy, if mm-hmm. a woman hits a man, right, because she's quote unquote less stronger, which I think that's a, a silly uh, excuse anyway. But if a woman hits a man, if he wants to haul off, it's not right. But you've opened up that situation by striking him. People have to learn to keep their hands to their sides. Non-violation is the only way. You and can, if you violate, then somebody is going to re- violate And to back. be clear, Kevin is not saying that Emily hit Fabulous and that's why Fabulous hit her back. That's not what that's, I'm saying. So I know that's where it's going to go, but that's not what he's saying. He's saying ever in, in a situation between a man and a woman is what he's talking about, hypothetically or whatever. I don't, I don't think that a woman should hit a man. I, I don't. So I agree with if you hit someone... You can't control what that person would do. But I, but what I would say, and I would tell my daughter that I would say, now don't hit. It's better to leave the situation because you cannot control. Every guy is not taught not to hit a woman. Every guy is not taught that. I, obviously, a lot of men nowadays are taught to hit back. But nobody no, is taught to hit a woman. No, nobody. That, I, I've heard nobody I've heard is taught a person to a say that if a girl hits you, you should hit her back. She should not hit you. But I wouldn't agree with that. But I'm saying a, I, a, woman, I think a woman may have taught. I think any time a that. man, I think any time a man hits a woman, it's in poor taste. But at the same yes. time, hell, if like if if I were Chris Brown and I'm driving <laughs> and you just start plop 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 plop, I have to, and I'm driving, yo. I got to get you to fuck off of me. That's so you true. You don't catch one of them. <laughs> that's true. That's true. But that's not what happened. He blacked out and it went it's, a little further. Hey, it's never yeah. nice. It's never nice. Domestic violence is never fun. For those of you who... who, who have, <laughs> domestic violence who, who, is never fun. Who your parents were in domestic violence situations and you watched your mother get beat and shit like that. Like, all of us have had, you know, little... Little things that have happened during the course of our lives, right? So it's a touchy, I feel like it's a yeah. touchy subject for a it lot is. of people. But, I mean, just being realistic. Because even when when Whoopi talked about it on The View, she was saying, like, no, you shouldn't hit nobody. And they were like, no, no, a, woman, a man should never hit a But chivalry is not like this force field that's going to keep your ass safe. That's it's true. not. That's you got to keep your hands to yourself. You got to know how to fucking act. <laughs> I agree with that. I agree, but I still think it's, you know, it's it's unfortunate. And um, men can usually do more harm. There are probably some girls that can whoop a dude's, behind, you know. But where are some of them at? Maybe we could put them around uh, some of these women beaters. But <laughs> but I think most of the time, the man, the 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 in domestic violence issues, the guy knows that he has that power over the woman, and he uses that to his advantage. It's it's a touchy situation. I I hope that if if Fabulous did not do it, if for some reason he didn't, he may have done it. If he didn't, though, I hope it doesn't ruin his career. If he if he didn't do it, I definitely hope it does not. If he did do it, you know, and I'm not gonna say that it should ruin his career. If he did it, I would hope that he would be open to getting help. I mean, Chris Brown has been able to still have a very successful help? career. Does mm-hmm. he need help? Is he what? Does he need help? If he did it, he needs help. Why? Because you you you. If he knocked her teeth out, mm, but I mean, but he may not have he may not have intended to knock. Let's say, let's say for instance, he did hit her. He did not intend to knock her teeth out, but they did come out. You think that he deserves his career? You think he I needs think help? That, I think that that all depends on a lot of different things. But that okay, happen. so have you, but I think that he would need help. I don't know that. I don't know that that's help. I don't know if that's help worthy because what if it's just one incident that you know he flew off the handle with something that was really important to him and he just he couldn't contain himself. And he's wrong. If you could he's not contain wrong. yourself to the point that you knock someone's teeth out, then you. But you can't control her teeth. She might have help. weak teeth. I, and then what is what is help? What is because all you're gonna do is sit in a circle once a week. Uh, help mm. is bother that bothered mm. because people think like there's this. He's got a pro, he's got a problem. Does he have a problem? He lost his temper and he knocked That's her. That's a problem. And he, but come on, man, how many you don't lose your temper? No. <laughs> we, we push you every week. But I don't do anything. We push you. Every I mean, I don't want you to knock my teeth out. I pull myself back. I mean, I pull myself exactly. You don't I mean, ever I'm lose your temper upset. ever. L- l- lose my temper and do something. That's what that's what it means. It means you do something out of character. Right, you've no. never you've never acted out of character in your life. Yeah, one time. Did you get help? I needed it. 
I did need oh, it. Whatever. No, I seriously you didn't need, need it. help. You need an ass whoop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't need that. <laughs> I'm know. just saying, it like I like the reason why I think this is such a big topic is because Fabulous does not seem like he's that guy. He, and, but what does it seem like? Chris Brown didn't seem like. Yes, that he guy. did. It's, Chris Brown was a hothead. Chris Brown was always everywhere doing everything. He was always first of all before that happened. He wasn't doing anything but singing, singing Doublemint commercials. He was like the all American guy okay. before that happened. And after it, though, afterwards, that's when we but there's, saw. But there's but right, but Fabulous has never been that guy ever not once and he's grown as hell you can't, you can't, you can't. judge it how many years on... has fabulous been in the limelight we don't know what fabulous does behind closed doors wait so did britney spears get help when she spazzed out she was, did was... she had yeah, to go did. to a help she yeah didn't get help. but what what, what she is help? needed help <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was i'm just saying she what is help? Went... what do you actually do they tell she you to sit your ass down, and calm down. she needed some therapy she shaved her head and had an umbrella oh no she was <laughs> yeah, she was. Oh, she needed. She needed help. She shaved her head. I'm just saying, help. I, I don't know if he needs help. We don't know the extent of what this is. Hey, well, if it was a one time, I just couldn't take it no more. We don't know what. I've been is, dealing with we... your bullshit for all these years, and I, I snapped. And you know, I'm wrong. I'm willing to do my time, whatever my time is. But then leave me the fuck alone. I'm willing to leave him the fuck alone if he does that. I don't know. Maybe I'm old school. I'm from that. You don't need help. You need your ass whooped. Like Emily, just go on and pour, go on and boil your grits. Ooh. That should never happen again. Because if, if Emily was my daughter, I'd be like, "Hey, look, you're gonna tell her to boil grits on a nigga? What? That could no, go bad. That's fucking awful. He may wake up and sling beat that. your ass again. Do not nah, boil nah, nah. grits on somebody. He that may shit. beat your ass again. You're gonna, Sauce. You you might heal from that ass whooping. Niggas don't heal from grits. Well, not only that, Goddamn you right. may beat your ass again. Are you, no, you not no, realizing no. that you can no, no. get if, if somebody throws grits on you, you'll never whoop nobody's you else's fucking ass lie. again. They're dead. That's not true. They are dead. They are not dead. They are dead. James Brown, not James Brown, but Richard Pryor lived. With, you never hit another bitch again. No, no, no. I'm talking you, about getting somebody to throw some grits on, hot grits yeah, on. Yeah, which prior had that happen when a girlfriend threw hot grits on him. No, I think that was Al. That Green. shit is religious. It doesn't what matter. Is whoever was lit. He should have killed her. Anyway, thank I you for tuning death in. I condone death if somebody grits your ass. Hot oil, hot grease. What the fuck? What kind somebody of torture shit is this? I, that Motherfucker, is, that is it's in a Saw movie. The fucking throw. Get away. If somebody hits, seriously, nah, domestic violence is not a funny issue. Cream of wheat, nigga. Get away. Violence isn't is, a funny it's issue. Not, it's not. It's yes, not. It is. If someone. It- yeah, we tune. Well, yeah, we tune Violence in. To, is hilarious. Yeah, we tune in and make million million views out of fight videos on World Star. Y'all kill me with this hypocritical it's shit. It's not. I don't think it's a, it's a. It's not. It's not a funny matter to the people that it affects. It's funny to those watching. But if you're in a domestic violence, we need to have like the number go across the screen or something. Like I'm, that's the serious thing. I've, that's a touch. You want me to put that around, across that I think we okay. should put it across the screen. I want you guys to. Get <laughs> that's the, fair. The we'll message. do that. Yeah, de- definitely. Because there's somebody that may be going through that. That. And you think they need our show for the number? You think Obviously, they can just Google? At least maybe that'll balance out the dysfunction of our show. No, they need to Google that shit on their own. We're not spending money to, to give you that number. Hey. Use your We're data. Not- Use your fucking data to get that number. I hate be honest sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> He's my friend. Stop getting your I ass up and dial that I'm number. I'm just saying, whether oh it's domestic God. violence, bullies, or whatever, you want to get somebody off of you. Don't throw hot grits on grits. them. Jesus Christ. Jill Scott grits. So is it, the, is it the Southern cook grit or is it like the instant, instamatic microwave grit? Because see, that microwave shit is forever. Like you might get by on some, some real Southern cook grits because they don't get that, that hot. But you do that microwave shit, it's over. Hey, you just need them hot enough to get a nigga off you. <laughs> so lukewarm. That's how hot. Not lukewarm, warm grits. Warm grits will work because it's wet too. I think it'll work and it sticks to you. So you think you burnt. <laughs> Close enough. You, you think that'll avoid a felony? I just don't want skin. <laughs> I don't want skin to feel off. Microwave them. Don't boil. Crystal, them. she pushed her microphone away. Like she, <laughs> she's not gonna talk anymore. Hey, how many bodies? Five. What'd you say? <laughs> you, think you, you think you're just gonna wave to the public and we ain't gonna fuck with you? You're right. Like, and you know, we're, more, you more, of our, this out? more of our listeners hear us. They don't see us. So the people who are at home listening to us on their on their iPhones or whatever, they didn't see you do that. So they have no idea what's wrong with you. You just quiet now. You just you mute. Oh, you ain't got nothing to say now. Uh huh. That's so, what's going on here. No, I guess what that means is we've proven that not only are men better athletes. Better rappers. We're also better hosts on shows. <laughs> you quit. <laughs> Why are you trying not to? <laughs> She's refusing to talk. I guess that means we'll have to see you guys next week. We right. might be a one man down. Crystal's protesting. She's <laughs> this, this is civil disobedience. <laughs> 
I refuse to participate in your sanction. Can you just give us a, an idea what the, the comment that stopped it was? What, what was it? When I did say I wouldn't put the number across because we're not using our data, was that it? Just give me a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if you like this show, make sure. What they don't? You don't think they like? They still like the show? You you can't give me that face. If you're not gonna say tell, something. Chris, so just, tell, us, just, tell us what's wrong. Just tell people bye. Tell them. Tell them bye. Just say see you next time. Good night. Good bless. God bless. Whatever it is. Come on. If you enjoyed this show, make sure you share it with somebody. Music love life.